I did know Mr. Coulter when it was not known that this man will have such a major influence on not only hematology but medicine and medical research and I am absolutely touched and privileged and humbled that I carry Ash's highest award in the name of Wallace Coulter. Conti is justifiably famous for his uh, role in the uh, development of chronic lymphocytic leukemia, our understanding and treatment. He's changed the lives for the betterment of these patients. Patients are living longer because of him. He sees patients not as diseases that occur in the person sitting in front of him, but he sees patients as individuals that have a disease. I met Dr. Rai in April 2005. Um, I had been diagnosed with CLL at, in December 04, and I'm lucky enough to have a form of CLL which has progressed very little. And Dr. Rai explained that this is a disease that you must just watch and wait. This is now my 10th year of having this, so I don't think about it very much anymore. When I came to New York, my mentor and teacher said, you should become a hematologist. Conti was a fellow in hematology, uh, working at Long Island Jewish Medical Center with his mentor, Arthur Sawitzki. And they had a relationship with Brookhaven National Laboratories. In Brookhaven, there was one of the giants in hematology, Eugene Cronkite. So I got a research position in Cronkite's group. And as it happened, I saw two or three patients who all seemed to have the same diagnosis, CLL. But I was struck by the fact that while one patient was totally normal, whereas the other patient with the same diagnosis looked terribly sick. That led me to develop a research project. So he went through all these charts and it was a mishmash and somehow he created order in the mishmash. And he tried to figure out what features could we assess using simple uh, diagnostic tools that were available to every clinician. And what he realized was that if you just took it into account the number of white blood cells and the number of platelets and the number of red blood cells in a patient, you could divide patients into groups that had different levels of performance. Uh, and uh, this led to the dry staging system. He changed the, the way that we look at the disease. And instead of it being one disease and one quality for all the patients, now we have different diseases. All that's necessary is for someone to do a good physical examination and to have access to a complete blood count. My getting into medicine, I ascribe to, give full credit to my uncle. I grew up in a small town in India, in Rajasthan, called Jodhpur. And my uncle was a very good, popular, wonderful doctor. He was the most generous, humorous, but genuinely giving person. And I started in my seven or eight year old child's mind, the G, to be a doctor is wonderful. Everyone recognizes the fact that he likes humor and can be very humorous. There's a lot of laughter also in every time you're in a <laughs> you're in a room with him. He always creates a sense of joy when he's in the room with his patients and families. I would say that uh, Dr. Rai is um, more than just a doctor. I think that he's really dedicated his life to CLL but um, he's also dedicated his life to teaching. And he's had such an influence on all of us as, as fellows and residents, and he never turns down an opportunity to teach us something more. I am so privileged to work with him. Everybody is important, and everybody can learn something from him on a daily basis. 
Conti uh, may well be the most loved physician uh, on the planet. And uh, he has earned uh, the love and respect of people. In my opinion, he's the epitome of the type of person that the Wallace H. Coulter Award is designed to recognize. I cannot imagine anything more rewarding for myself, my family, my colleagues than this award.